thanks for clicking on the video. Hit the subscribe button for more weekly content, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Let's get back to a story that's been on pause for a while. Is there light at the end of the tunnel? As of right now, doesn't look like it. What's good, peeps? What's poppin'? How are you doing? We are gonna go ahead and put the Hinata story on pause and jump back in to our Digimon roots. Yeah, feel me. Kari has always been a source of vibrant positivity and shining selflessness. She was even willing to give herself up to Myota's mom to prevent more innocent people from being harmed. In this scenario, however, we are hashing out the idea that Kari's light has been snuffed out via a dark spore and she became the Digimon Emperor. Let's shoot for 10 likes to keep this scenario going. And since it's been quite some time between, I highly suggest watching the first two parts just to get all caught up. With that out of the way, Let's continue the story. Last time, the team has officially been completed with Yoli and Cody now having partners in Hawkmon and Armadillomon. All head off to the digital world in an attempt to clear out more control spires. Again, Kari and Gatamon were nowhere to be found. However, they are soon confronted by the Digimon Emperor, who unleashes a herd of hypnotized Tyranomon. Keeping with the original story, Flangermon, Hulsamon, and Digmon don't have enough strength to handle the entire group. TK and Cody head into a nearby cave, which so happens to house the two digi-eggs the group has also been looking for. One emblazoned with the Crest of Hope, while the second had the Crest of Light. When TK saw the second egg, a burning anger began to well up inside him. Whoever did this to his friend, he vowed, would pay. He couldn't allow the forces of darkness to claim someone else. Will TK handle this anger properly? We'll just have to see if the story continues to unfold. He reached out towards the Digi Egg of Hope, gained a new D3, and unleashed his power to bring forth Pegasus Mon. Now as much as I love this Digimon, I won't allow bias to sway the story. The addition of Pegasus Mon does help, but it was still an uphill battle due to just the sheer number of Tyranomon. In the original, it took both Pegasusmon and Nefertimon working together to win. Let's see how they'll fare now. While trying to engage with one of them, Pegasusmon is fiercely swatted away and slams into the control spire in the area. TK noticed two things after that. The damaged control spire and the slightly dazed behavior of the Tyranomon that followed. That gave him an idea. Instead of attacking the Tyranomon, he told his partner to destroy the control spire. With a powerful Equus beam, the tower had completely fallen and the hypnotic spell of the Tyranomon had weakened enough for them to be subdued. In the previous part, I mentioned that the control spires amplify the effects of the Digimon Emperor's hypnosis. That was more of an aside for you guys to understand the reasoning for the control spires in this scenario. For the Digi Destin, that fact had all been proven in this battle, adding all the more reason to destroy them all. A few days pass and events play out more or less the same. That is, until TK decides to confront Kari again. The last time didn't really go so well, but that was all the more reason he decided to try again. He caught her walking in the hallway, and knowing how determined he is, she let out a heavy sigh and said, What do you want? Kari, what's going on with you? The digital world is in danger, and we need you. A human calling themselves the Digimon Emperor is controlling innocent Digimon and making them do all sorts of cruel things. A couple of days ago, I found a digi egg with your crest on it. The crest of light. You're a digi destined, Kari. Whatever controlling you isn't who you are. Don't let darkness consume you. TK waited for a response. The gap of time was merely a few seconds, but it felt like hours. And what makes you so sure that I'm being controlled, TK? Nothing but chilling bitterness coated her words. I'm done trying to protect a world that never learns from its mistakes. First, it was Devimon, then Edamon, then my Otismon, the Dark Masters, Apocalymon, and now this Digimon Emperor. Clearly, being a Digi Destined isn't working out so well. I'm done playing superhero, and I suggest you do the same. And with that, she continued on her way. TK couldn't believe what he heard. He refused to believe it. That was not Kari. It just couldn't be. Well, whoever she was dropped a piece of paper on the floor as she was leaving. It had a drawing on it. A drawing of a cat-like creature. This isn't Gatamon. 
TK said perplexed. But as he scanned the page, he saw a list of names underneath the drawing. All the names were crossed off except one. Makomon. And that's where this part will end. Woo! That's a lot to unpack there. So what do you guys think is Kari's end goal? What is she gonna do? So much more different than what Ken originally was planning. How do you think things are gonna unfold? How do you think it'll be revealed that Kari the Digimon Emperor? Let me know how you think this part will unfold in the comments section down below. And leave some more suggestions for Digimon what ifs, Naruto what ifs, any kind of what ifs that it will suit your fancy that will tickle your pickle. Thank you guys for watching this video. Again, 10 likes to get another part. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.